Hello everyone. So I just wanted to go through and provide a quick proof for why the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So inside of this triangle, we have three angles. Let's go ahead and call them angle one, angle two, and angle three. Okay, so what I'm trying to prove is that when I take these angles, the measure of angle one, plus the measure of angle two, plus the measure of angle three, that this should add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so in order to do this proof, we need to do a quick construction. Right? What we need to do first is we need to construct a line that runs through the vertex of this triangle up here and is parallel to the base of the triangle. All right, so once we construct that line, this is what we need in order to complete the proof. Now notice that as we constructed this line, we have made two new angles. Let's call those angle four and angle five. <clears throat> okay, so notice that angle four, angle one, and angle five these all form a straight angle, which is 180 degrees by definition. So we could claim that the measure of angle <clears throat> four plus the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle five is equal to 180 degrees. <clears throat> We do get to claim that. And now if we look at angle two and angle four, we can see that there's a relationship here, right? With these lines being parallel, if we look at this red line as a transversal, then angle two and angle four are alternate interior angles. And when parallel lines are cut by a transversal, alternate interior angles are congruent. So we could say that the measure of angle two is equal to the measure of angle four. We get to make that claim. And we could do a similar thing with this blue line. If we look at the black lines as our parallel lines and the blue one as a transversal, then we see that we have the same relationship here with three and five. These are also alternate interior angles, which are congruent when lines are parallel and they're cut by a transversal. So I could also claim that the measure of angle three is equal to the measure of angle five. All right, and now I can take each one of these, measure of angle two, and substitute that in here. Take the measure of angle three and substitute that in here. All right, and then just make a quick shift to have this match up here saying that we still have the measure of angle one. We're substituting the measure of angle two for the measure of angle four. And we're substituting the measure of angle three for the measure of angle five. And this is all still equal to 180 degrees, which is precisely what we were trying to prove. Okay, so I hope that this helps. It's kind of a quick and simple proof using what we know about uh, parallel lines being cut by transversals and getting us to one of the most important facts about triangles.